Hello, everybody. Welcome to Expedition Buster. I am Chris. Welcome aboard. I hope all of you expeditioners are fellow expeditioners are doing well today. And we are. We are. We are in the eve of Halloween or the eve weekend of Halloween. Yeah. We all love Halloween. All right. So, oh, so. Away. Stop. Okay, there we go. So today, today we're going to be doing some Among Us along with our friends. And I have in the group chat, hello, Kit. Hi. Hi. So, Kit, are you going to be jumping and watching videos uh, while we're playing today? Because if you are, I will mute you most of the time. I can't figure out what my password is to my Twitch. Oh, well, I, I can't help you with that. <laughs> Like, I don't know your Twitch password. <laughs> Why didn't you write it down? All right, hang on. Waiting for code. Uh, G-O-S-S-D-G. -S Got it. Okay, let me jump in. All right. G-O-S-S-D-G. -S -S By the way, um, I am looking forward to the new graphics that are coming. Um, I have paid an artist to help me out and uh there's gonna be some pretty epic stuff coming for this wow why is this so sorry my mic is being a little finicky today uh, okay yeah uh. all right well that's as tight as i can get it hi all so um lots of things coming um it's gonna take roughly a month for all the graphical changes here to be made. I don't know what the code is. Well, I can't help you. Oh, there it is. Like I said, I can't help you. Uh, I cannot help you with your password issues. <laughs> it's like no, a person- I'm talking about this. Oh, it's G-O-S-S-D-G. -S -S yeah, I figured it out. Coming. Hey, He's coming. Okay. He's coming. Yeah. Um, so. You know, Expedition Bus- Wow, Dimsey is on. Yeah, I- I- <sighs> In Among Us? <laughs> Dimsey's in Among Us? No. <laughs> so, Kit, what have you been up to? Anything great? Hold on, I'm working on this. Okay, Kit's working on stuff. But yeah, so, um, really- Expedition Buster is just, it, it's not just timed in terms of changes of this, uh, you know, channel and in terms of my streamer, like, way I'm doing things here. It's also a change in regards to some things that I've got to explore within myself. Um, probably some deep-seated emotional stuff that I'm going to be working on over the next month or two at least, if not longer. Um, there's still a lot inside me that I've got to, some of it's got to be cut out, some of it's got to be healed, some of it's got to be moved around, and it, it's, life, uh, you get to a certain area in life where it's not, it, it's no long, it, it, the, the issues you're facing become more and more internal. And some of those issues, if you've had them for a very long time, things like insecurities, traumas, all that stuff, I've found in my personal experience, the deeper and older they are, sometimes one, you, you don't know they're there. You don't even know what they are, so they have to be revealed to you through um, other people or through yourself, through self-exploration. But then on top of that, it's hard to get rid of that stuff. All right, we're jumping in and I'm muting Kit so I don't hear whether or not Kit's the imposter. Let's go. Shh. Okay. We are going. No, Plantica, you left us too soon. Okay, well. Day number one. Task number one. Heading on down to do the thing. No! Thank you. Okay, hang on. All right, I'm just trying to figure out what the most logical order to go in is here. Oh, come on! People locking the doors already. 
I can't stand door locks. I mean, even, like, as an imposter, obviously, I lock doors. But that doesn't mean that, like, I like it. Even when I'm an imposter, I can't stand when, like, other people are locking doors. Um, because it just becomes such a pain. Because it takes a while to unlock a door. Although that's true in life, too. Some doors are not easy to unlock. Some doors require effort to unlock in life. So I guess it's a good metaphor. You know, Among Us's metaphor for life is, you know, unlocking doors. Which is, of course, not easy. All right, and speaking of. Oh, no. Holy cow! I'm sorry you met your demise, Kit. Yeah. Don't give me any hints. I don't- I didn't even know. Oh, I, wow. I'm still working on this. I'm still working on trying to fix this thing. What are you trying to fix? Uh... The Twitch thing. So yeah, like why did that person accuse me? I'm I'm not going to I mean, seriously. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> or just say Chris. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> what? <laughs> that never works. I know who I am. <laughs> so, somebody voted for orange. Oh, no! Well, somebody probably shapeshifted to me. So, uh, Kit, I'm going to leave you on because I now know that you're for sure not the imposter. Oh, great. Now my thing won't work. What you doing? You know what? I'm willing to bet that... The imposter shapeshifted as me, and that's fine. Go ahead and shapeshift as me, imposter. I don't care. Although now I've kind of revealed that I'm not an imposter. Eh, whatever. Okay, well, that was fun. And I'm going to come up here. And hope the door closes behind me. I have my suspicions. My suspicions are about to be confirmed. Goodbye. <laughs> Stop following me, darn it! Stop following me. I just... No! Oh no! Oh no! Not hacks. I did all of that for nothing because I can't access the stream channel or whatever. What? Kit is dead. So how is Kit sus? Right. Okay. Uh, you can vote for me. Voting out an innocent. Always a way of winning. I know who I'm going to vote for. Okay, cool. I'm fine with this.
Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yay. So, so you're you're trying to get into your Twitch account and it's not letting you stream. Why isn't it letting you stream? Is uh, are you having some issues connecting OBS? I don't know. It just I just hit start streaming and it went. That's weird. I. Uh, it's your excuse. Oh yeah, because there's so few people. It's two and five. I wonder if they're going to get who the imposter is. I have theories. <laughs> how is it? How is it? Is it pink? I'm dead. Yeah, like, <laughs> duh. How is it dark red? Wow. I, I have my beliefs on who it is, but I will keep them to myself. In the meantime, I will say this. So, um, you know, it, like I said, life, the, part of the reason for the name change of Expedition yeah, Buster how are you, is life is a journey, you know. And all of us need to be working on ourselves. The younger you start self-exploration, the better off it is. Because you don't want to get to the point where you're like 40 and you're dealing with deep-seated childhood issues that you've never discovered or worked on. You know? So if you're, if you're 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, it's never too early to start working on yourself, your insecurities, and finding those things in you that you need to improve on. And I'm not really a guide for that. <laughs> Don't look at me for advice because I've messed it all up, you know, my own ways. And that's why I'm in the position where I think I'm going to be fix going through some... Lights. Fix the lights. Don't fix the lights. Just let people die at this point. I don't care. <laughs> you will all... You have all made your bed and now you're going to have to sleep in it. And I'm gonna have to use the bathroom. Oh, someone got protected. Bathroom protocol initiated. End of line. Oh, look, oh it was Lucian. Oh, wow. Lucian, congratulations. Lucian, congratulations. Wait. Lucian, congratulations on that win. All right. Good job, Lucian. I, I honestly... Whoa, I forgot to flip back. Um, I honestly thought it was Dimsy. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, no, it, it's... It, it's... So it, it's like I said, life is an interesting journey, and um, we, you you can't just sit by and let life go by you. I I've spent most of my life being like, oh yeah, I'm just life just is happening to me. You you can't let life just happen to you. You you can't just like roll. You can roll with the punches, but you if you have no direction, like I, I have had most of my life, <laughs> I've had no life direction. So uh, I have not been directing my life. And because of that, that creates problems. All right, I'm gonna mute Kit's channel so I don't hear his computer. And Kit's running back to his computer right now. And we're starting it up. Yeah, boys, let's do it. Okay, so we're diving in. Okay. This will be fun, I think. Oh, nice. One of my tasks is right there. I'll take it. Oh, okay. This, I, I've got an idea for the order I want to do things in. Although, that's kind of revealing certain 
things, but whatever. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. No! Well, Kit's not the imposter. Unmuted. Hi, Kit. Yeah, I killed myself. What? I killed myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. I love my I vocal love effects. Song called Wilbur. <laughs> oh, Wilbur. You don't get why I think that's funny. I think it's funny because Mr. Ed. Whoa, there, Wilbur. I'm saying it's funny because Wilbur's one of the members on the Dream S&P. Ah. That also is one of the less child-friendly from what I've heard. What even is happening? Those. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Seth. Seth? <laughs> I know what I'm doing <laughs> in terms of votes. What? Why are people... It's me. It's me. I can't stand that. I, I just... Why, why are you wearing a green, like, a lime suit? Um, because it's the closest thing to a jumpsuit. It actually says jumpsuit. Why are people voting for me? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, based on what? I bet you it's Dimsy and Lucian. <laughs> Just saying, like, there's no logic there. Nobody even accused me. So, like... Many people randomly voted for you. I mean, it's possible, but why va randomly vote for somebody? Because you're taking the risk of accidentally voting for somebody that's, you know, innocent. And then you run Wilbur. into... Whoa, Wilbur. <laughs> I am Mr. Ed. Ah, that show was before your time, but it was a show about a talking horse. And they made the horse talk by putting peanut butter under his... No! Not his nose, his gums. <laughs> uh, where? Slef. Why are people doing this? How do you think you have the- why- Me kill! What? Why are people doing this? I think that these people's logic okay, circuits are defective. What? End of line. Why solution? I don't know! I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the closest thing to a jumpsuit in the game, so that's what why I went with it. Yeah, but why'd you make pick a green one? Because there wasn't a tan one. There was a black one. Yeah, but that still doesn't work. It's either navy Maybe blue or tan. Okay? And those are the colors from the from the movies, and I can't do that, so there's no navy blue, and there's no tan. So I'm going with a color that matches the rest of my character. Um, wow. Like, people I are... I still say you should go with the... I still say you should go with that, that explore skin I showed you. Look, I, I went with what I felt was best. Hey, Mr. Vortex! Rissy, welcome. Welcome on in. Okay. We might play Minecraft Dungeons tomorrow. Either that, either that, or we might be doing some Ghostbusters, but we'll see. How was my day? My day is going well. Um, I'm, I'm having an okay day so far. No. How about you? How are, how are things going for you? Anything good going on? I'm going to follow you around. You can follow me around. I'm just going to hang out anyway. But yeah, I, I've been doing pretty well. Um, oh gosh, where? Oh no! Where? Uh. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know, Mr. Vortex, if you've uh, been keeping track of the different name change stuff with the stream and where we're going with stuff, but I'm just talking a lot about, like, personal growth and stuff like that. And I was just saying that, you know, it's never too early to start examining oneself, even if it's difficult to do because it's like figuring out even how to examine oneself is something that, you know, takes up. Hey, your computer finally works. That's great. No. Oh, no. Kid's not happy because now you'll have access to your OP gear in Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> I don't mind. Anyway, I chose I someone randomly. Oh, well, I'm skipping unless someone can provide proof. Also, Pink is dead. How can you accuse Pink when Pink's dead? People accusing me again. Preston. Preston was accusing you. Well, I'm happy to hear about the computer working. I mean, that's awesome. I really am. Uh, no one was ejected. Wait. No one was ejected. I think that these people's logic circuits are defective. End of line. So, just saying. Roger, roger. Just saying. Roger, roger. Okay. Hey! Oh, also Dempsey's in the chat, so Buller he's also dead. Buller now, so. Buller Or Bull Bull Aramig? What, what, what's the what's the division there? But anyway, I have something to say and that's Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining the expedition. Welcome to Expedition Bothster. My name is Chris. Welcome on in. Also, if it looks like the graphics don't match the stream title, it's because guess what? Um I'm still in the process of going through rebranding, so I will have information soon, or I will have name changes soon. Uh, gray, gray based on question mark. Wait, isn't Wilbur gray? <laughs> no, he's tan. Oh, me is gray. Oh, me, me is gray. Oh, me is gray. Okay. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody provides any proof. Why do people not provide proof anymore? Look. Honestly, this game just turns into people like pointing a gun at random at other people and pulling the trigger unless there's proof. Now, granted, sometimes I just go with what people say, but I'm just saying, provide stinking truth. Or rather, proof, not truth. Uh, well, tr proof leads to truth, you know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Poor me. Oh, no. Not an imposter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. All right. You know, like, this is getting old. This is getting old. I'm just going to come in over here, stay in my hidey hole, and probably get murdered in my hidey hole. Which is fine. Oh my gosh! Why? Okay. Is there any proof against anyone? Like, I don't get it. Yeah, um, uh, by the way, Buller, I, I, I'm not sure, um, how am I? I'm doing okay. Uh, so Buller, what, have, what are you, what are you up to? What have you been doing this weekend? Are you excited for Halloween? Halloween's coming. I am excited about Halloween. Just say, just say, Halloween is like one of the best holidays ever. Not because of free candy either. Just, you know, you're just playing. Okay. What are you playing? Are you playing Among Us? Are you in this group? Are you in the Among Us, like, with this group here? Because I'm not hosting this, but I'm, I'm just saying, um, you're not. Okay. Because we, we don't want people stream sniping. Uh, you'll notice that, like, Kit 
and myself and Dimsay are all on a Discord, but we don't share information. Um, I'm just gonna the heck with it. We don't share information about the game because it it makes it yeah. And Dimsay doesn't even talk. By the way, happy birthday in advance to Dimsay. Happy birthday, sir. How old are you? Sixteen now. Not an imposter. Oh no. No, Wilbur. Oh, no. Ah, Valorant. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, I've never played Valorant. Um, not necessarily my cup of tea, but I'm also not judging. Oh, you're turning 15. I'm so sorry to have aged you a year more than you actually are. Although, <laughs> although to be honest, your maturity level is questionable for 15, honestly. I couldn't help it, okay? No, seriously, congratulations. Um, what are you planning on doing? Anything uh, fun for 15? You, you gonna be doing anything fun? You gonna be, you have any plans? Uh, also, wh what what are you looking forward to changing yourself this year? Um, you know, are there, are, are there any goals that you have to improve yourself or to, um, you know, think about your own future expedition in the world? How are you going to, so, I would say a birthday is a good reason to take a look back at the past year and look at both, like list out like five good things that happened and five things that you'd like to change about yourself. And then that way you have a, a thing you could tackle going forward for the year. And you don't want to use things like make myself popular or whatever. No, like things that are actually going to help you as a person to enjoy the world around you. Uh, things like dealing with insecurities and whatnot. Oh no! Not hacks, no! Okay, well, Hax is gone. Um, this is bad. I was in Tubster. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. You're saying daddy, daddy. I mean, I, I, I am a daddy, but I, I don't know that I'm your daddy. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But Tubster, welcome. Welcome to the expedition. Thank you for joining. This is Expedition Buster. My name's Chris, and thank you for joining in the expedition. Well, I don't know that you want me to be your daddy. Trust me, I've got issues. <laughs> uh, uh, why? I was in O2 the whole round. O2 canister. So, yeah. You have daddy issues. Well, I mean, I think we all have daddy issues. Um, you know. Uh, how? Okay, you know what the heck with that? I'm going to just vote for somebody at random because I'm getting voted out. And whatever. Look, uh, Tubster, I, I know. I'm not going to ban you. I have no need to ban you. Why would I ban? No, no, you're not going to ban him. Like you don't ban somebody over calling somebody daddy. That's that's no, don't don't no. Dim say no. And, and don't even joke about that because you do have the power to ban people. So don't do that. Um, hey, welcome on in. Welcome fellow expeditioner. Welcome to the journey. Welcome to the expedition. All are welcome. So, yes, welcome on in. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, you can call me dad if you want. Um, but uh, I, I rest assured. Hey, Kit, Kit, do you think that I should be somebody else's dad? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Trust me. Um, <laughs> hey, Taylor. Thank you. Taylor, welcome. Welcome to the expedition. Thank you for joining alongside me. I wish you best of luck in your expedition as well. So, wow, we're getting a lot of followers today. I don't know what's happening. Hope your stream is good. Hey! Oh, no! So, how are you all following, uh, finding me? Bullerware! Welcome! Welcome. Welcome to the expedition. And may your expedition always be fruitful, you know? And journey that path, even though it's difficult. 
So welcome everybody. By the way, my name's Chris. I am the head here at Expedition Buster. And the whole point is, uh, first of all, all these graphics are gonna be changing soon. Uh, I've got a new graphic design coming shortly. I just recently rebranded. And Expedition Buster is about, first of all, expeditions, meaning our journeys in life, how we all are on separate journeys, but those journeys Perfect often intersect. Game. And we connect with each other, and it's great, and we help each other along each other's journeys. And Buster, because, well, I love Ghostbusters, and the new theming is going to be reflecting that huge so um i've got i've got some great graphic art coming but um in in terms of all the people that are new where are you from what are you doing you know um where in the world are you anything excited happening this weekend for you and kit i'm muting you because i don't want to find out if you're the imposter so what what are you all up to i see Taylor au so i'm i'm presuming australia correct no burger king left not the Burger King. Okay. Oh, man. All right. All right. I think. Wait. I'm going to go here first. Australia. All right. I actually know somebody that currently lives near Perth. Uh, I have no idea where Perth is, but I know somebody that lives near there. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I've never been to Australia. I would love to come to Australia at some point in my life. I would also love to go to New Zealand. Where am I from? I am from the state of Connecticut in the United States. That's on the east coast of the United States, right around New York, Massachusetts, um, Rhode Island, New Jersey, that, that area, the northeast. Blue. Oh, yeah, people blaming blue right out the gate. So, yeah, um, I am from the state of Connecticut, and uh, I am in my middle-aged years, so to speak. I mean, I'm not in my 50s or 60s yet, but, you know, I'm 39, you know, so I'm, I'm a little bit older than people give me credit for. But, hey, if you think I'm younger, I'm perfectly, um, <laughs> perfectly happy with that. But I love hanging out with people, and uh, a lot of the people I hang out with, uh, so Kit is my son, by the way. Kit's, uh, and, yeah. I like gaming at whatever age. Yeah, it's it's great time. Um, you know, I've been gaming since computers didn't have operating, well, they had text-based operating systems. So I've been gaming since probably the late 1980s, uh, starting with the Atari 2600 uh, and also with a DOS computer. That's right, MS-DOS. So if you look at the old Sierra games that all look like they were made in Microsoft Paint, um, those were the games I cut my teeth on as a kid, along with, um, some Nintendo and eventually some full motion video games like, um, Myst, like, uh, The Seventh Guest, The Eleventh Hour, games like that. That's what I grew up on. Um, and oh it's, God. you know, Sorry, blue. It, it's been an evolution in gaming to see how gaming has progressed graphically in some ways, taken a back uh, t a step back story wise at times, but other people independently are creating some amazing games um, nowadays. So there's a lot of great stuff out there and I'm really excited. Uh, I don't play as much as I should. I like games with a good story. Um, and I also just like games that, you know, I enjoy. Um, I know that's like weird. It's like, wait, you like games that are you enjoy. That's, um, that's not surprising, but you know, I like playing with, uh, my son Kit. Uh, we have a lot of fun together for the most part. Uh, and I say for the most part, cause sometimes we butt heads, but you know, fathers and sons tend to do that. And part of the reason I I'm using the name expedition buster is again, like I'm on a life journey and I've had to grow a lot and learn a lot. Oh no! Where? 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 No, they said comms. Cast oh, comms. Comms? Okay. Oh, I don't know what to make of that. But, uh, Taylor, what are things like... Uh, Taylor, what are things like in, uh, Australia right now where you are? I, I'm, I know that you're going into summer now. We're actually heading into winter. All right. Well, I was in, 
But yeah, um, so this entire theme, though, is going to be changing, and there's some really cool stuff that uh, is coming, including custom background animations, custom alerts, and just to let you know, I mean, <laughs> Daddy, I, ha I got a boo-boo on my tootsie. Oh, that's that stinks. I mean, you know, might have to might have to put, uh, you know, some peroxide or something on that. Please kiss it. Ah, I'm not kissing your foot, no. <laughs> Puberty is weird. Yeah, no, don't drink hydrogen peroxide. That's a great way to... You beg? No, that's okay. Dude, I, I understand where you're coming from. I know that this helps you to connect with your inner child and whatnot, and that's great. Um, I'm not sure I'm comfortable going there, but I, I appreciate it. You can still call me dad if you want, but I'm, I, you know what? I, I had one kid of my own and, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I messed that up a little bit along the way. So <laughs> you got a mustache now. Congratulations. Uh, Australia's getting hot. I, always hot Christmas. Yeah. That's a weird concept for me. Because, like, you know the song, like, White Christmas? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Well, you know, that's somewhat quintessentially New England Christmas. I mean, not that it is always a white Christmas. Uh, many times it's not. Um, let's see. One of my friends had it when he was, like, 12. Nice. I mean, people grow at different times, at different speeds, at different rates. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Growing up is a part of life. Oh no, I gotta go this way now. Interestingly enough, uh, when it comes to life, I have a sad fact. None of us get out of this alive. Hmm. No. <laughs> but Taylor, thanks. And if you come back later, awesome. Buller, uh, Bullerer, where are you from? What are you doing? What games do you enjoy? Uh, I was in lab heading for You're in Denmark Denmark ah, okay, that's interesting. I don't know much about Denmark. I'll be perfectly honest uh, I know it's a very neutral country for the most part, so it doesn't get very involved in world politics, which, by the way, uh, dude, that's a good thing. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Don't be like the U.S. <laughs> well, if you want to, fine, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if people want to vote for me, they can vote for me. I don't care anymore. Like, I'm I'm going to vote for this person just because, but what what is the what is the season what is the season like? Um what is what is the you know, it, yeah. are you guys having fall in Denmark or is it a little bit warmer than the United States, a little bit cooler? Level 56. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Wait, what? Oh, oh, there's still two other crewmates left. That's right. Okay, I gotta mute you. Because <laughs> you're not dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to at least do this. Okay, cool. It's cold. Yeah. One of the things I've been doing, and I don't do it all the time, but I do it, um, is taking cold showers. Yep, we're having fall as well. And it about three weeks ago, it reached the point where cold showers became less, um, hey, this isn't bad, and more like, oh, this is, this is a, an extreme effort now. Like, now it hurts. What up, Kip? All right, you're back. Um, but yeah. It's it's at the point where, like, cold showers have gone from being like, ah, this is refreshing, to, okay, this is actually feeling like, you know, jumping into a lake <laughs> or an ocean. It's cold, you know? Purple was supposed to do double care. What is this? Why do people call... Do not call out other killers. Don't... Do it. 
when cold showers get warm. They get warm when you get closer to the summer because the pipes that carry the water into your house or apartment and underground are affected by the warmer temperature. But when you get into the winter, oh, yeah. Like in the summer, it could get to the point where it's like jumping into a pool. You know, it's not super cold. But in the when you get towards the winter, you're getting temperatures of like, say, 60 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is cold. Like it is a rude awakening when you take a cold shower this time of year. And when it gets really cold outside, because sometimes we get into, you know, negative wind chills, negative temperatures here. Um, not as bad as like, say, the central United States area. But still, the northeast, we get some cold temps in the wintertime. And um, I assure you, it is much less fun taking a cold shower in the wintertime. It will wake your rear up. Not just your rear. By the way, um, when I'm streaming with younger people, I tend not to use as much language. But this uh, stream is marked for adults because when I play by myself, yeah, I tend to swear a little bit more, you know? Um, but yeah, it will wake you up to take a cold shower in the wintertime. Uh, in the summertime, it can actually be refreshing. 14 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit because we here in the United States do things backwards. We're one of two countries that still use imperial measurements. Kit, what's going on? No dead bodies found. Who are you accusing? Preston left the game. Sigh. 57. Yep, so it's around that temperature here today. A little bit warmer, but... Yep, five Celsius. Oh, you're getting close to that. So you're getting you're in the forties, I'm guessing, like upper forties, because zero degrees Celsius is thirty degrees Fahrenheit or thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm guessing you're you're in that forty degree range, which is uh, you know getting a little chilly, getting a little chilly, you know. You can't be imposter twice in a row. Since when? <laughs> your defective, your logic circuits are defective. End of line. Just say, uh, morning is at 7 a.m. Yeah. Um, so it's hotter than normal where you are. Well, it makes sense. You know, it makes sense. I mean, if it's a little bit, we, it was actually kind of warm this week. We, we had some days where like, um, it was in the 70s outside or upper 60s, low 70s, and it was really humid, so it felt a lot hotter. So it felt like it was 80 or 90. I don't think I have a watch time command, Dimsey, or Dimsey. I don't, I'd have to look into it. I it, it would be in stream elements. I'd have to investigate that, and I'm not going to investigate that. Like, I, I don't know why it's a big deal. Why do you need to know how long you've been watching the stream? <laughs> The USA is weird to you. Yeah, the United States is a weird place. And if you think about it, the United States really doesn't have a culture of its own. Most of the United States culture is inherited from other cultures. So think if you think of the United States, um, if you think of the United States, the most popular food items in the United States are what? Pizza, tacos, and hamburgers. Hamburgers are from Germany. Pizza is from Italy. Tacos are from either Spain or Mexico. The United States kind of has a culture that it inherited from, you know, England somewhat. But then we broke apart from England and we kind of absorbed cultures from all over the place. And it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because it's kind of hard to say that we have an identity. Unfortunately, the identity of the land was lost during those colonial time periods. No, we can't just have guns anymore. Uh, you have to go through registration processes. You have to go through training, especially to hold like a pistol. You've got to go through firearms training to do that. Um, and that's a common misconception. But yes, in our constitution, there is something called the right to bear arms. Uh, and specifically, it talks about a well-formed militia, meaning to defend your country, but also... The founding fathers knew that one of the things that colonial 
in, in, colonial people, meaning people that invade your country and occupy it and take over, do is one of the first thing they do is they confiscate your weapons. Because if you don't have any weapons, you can't fight against them. So by putting it in the Constitution that you can have weapons, it it, it gives you the ability to fight against um, you know either your own government if you need to, or an invading force. But the problem with that is, is that people take that for granted and think that, oh, well, I must own a gun and I can go in and, you know, use a gun to defend what I believe in a negative way. And that's why we have so much, so many shootings associated with mental health issues and things like that, uh, which is unfortunate. And unfortunately, also, gun violence kind of gets glamorized. It's in all of our movies. It's in, um, you know, it, when a gun violent event happens, it ends up being a media circus and the person's name gets said over and over again. This is the name of this person. This is why they did it. And it's like, put them in jail and don't talk about them anymore. Like, it, it, I do think that we need more controls over that type of thing. But I also think that there is a place for it because to be honest, both sides of our government are stupid. They're both extremes. We have extreme liberal, extreme conservative, and they're all crazy. All of them. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's also not to downplay, you know, people who do use guns to protect their animals and livestock, people who go hunting, stuff like that. There is still some of that, but that's oftentimes used more as an excuse than it should be. Not everybody in the world is hunting. Not everybody in the world has livestock they need to protect from predators. It's just not the reality of the situation. But that's also why, not why it was put in the Constitution of the United States in the first place. Um, so you could tell, like, I'm not uber conservative when it comes to guns. I'm not saying everybody should have a gun in, at on, in all circumstances. No, definitely not. It should be regulated and controlled, but there's a reason why it's there, too. So... Uh, now I just got a little bit political, but as long as people aren't getting super, you know, angsty about it, I, I don't have an issue. But yeah, it is weird. Um, the United States is a very unusual country uh, and relatively young compared to countries like uh, Macedonia, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, um, all the Nordic countries, uh, all of the, you know, the you also have the different um you know, Anglo-Saxon and Celtic countries like Ireland and, um, like, um, what's it called? Scotland. You know, all of those countries have existed long before the United States. And yeah, Macedonia, I'm saying, Dimse, I'm saying that Macedonia is much older than the United States, although it has undergone several ownership changes and name changes and uh, land changes in its history. But most of the European countries... And Kit was the imposter. <laughs> well done, Kit. Well done. So Kit did an awesome job uh, as the imposter there. <laughs> so all I'm saying is that the United States... You know, it's a good, it, 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 it's good and we have some freedoms that other countries don't have. I'm going to be upfront and honest about that. And we have problems, big problems, but many of other countries have big problems too. Arts just, um, tend to make the news more. <laughs> Sorry, purple, I bought the wrong color. <laughs> Excuse me, just had a burp. It's the game glitch. The game glitch. Vlitch. Vlitch. My neck is so pain. Oh no. You can get life in prison if you... Okay, yeah. I mean, there are some cases... I'm gonna mute Kit so I don't hear if he's the imposter. There are some cases where you can obviously get life in prison here in the United States. Um, you know, for a variety of crimes and, and things. Um, unfortunately, like, some of the crimes people are in prison with are a little bit petty. Like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, if you're somebody that 
got caught with drugs or abused drugs, but you weren't selling them. What you need is mental care, not necessarily prison time. Uh, I hate to put it that way, but, you know, like, if you're abusing drugs but not harming others, you if you've severely harmed yourself, you need help, not prison. And that's not me saying anything about the legalization of certain substances, but I'm saying I don't believe that people need to be going to prison for damaging their own lives. I think they need help is what they need. And unfortunately, um, you know, we're more likely to incarcerate people and make it difficult for them to get jobs. Oh, no! Oh no, we have somebody. Hi, Kit. We have somebody named Hacker. As if that's not confusing. No, he escapes to specimen. I was in office too. I was in lab fixing wire. So this is going to be a little bit confusing because we have Hacker and we have hacks. Also, I'm not going to pretend to know all that much about history. I have opinions, but I don't know all. I I don't always have history to back things up. That's why I don't say a lot about other countries that I don't know anything about at this point. I used to like kind of try to say more about other countries, but I really don't know that much. Um, in the United States for you, it seems like if you don't have a weapon, you're at risk of getting shot. I don't think so. Um, I think that that gets overblown. There's the illusion that everybody has a gun and everybody has, um, you know, because everybody has a gun, everybody else needs to have a gun to defend themselves. That's not the case. Um, and I live in a state where gun manufacturing was a huge thing. Uh, for example, the Colt gun manufacturing company was based in Connecticut. Um, I believe Smith and Wesson was based in Connecticut and some of them have moved because Connecticut is actually one of the least gun-friendly states because of the whole Sandy Hook incident. Um, and that's fine. You know, I would rather have us be safe than to, you know, have incidents where, you know, we're not protecting people, where we're not doing what we should to protect students and protect, you know, parents and to protect the common good. Um, but that doesn't mean that like everybody in the United States has a gun and, you know, you could say there, there are enough guns in the United States to, uh, where each person could own a gun if you average it out, but it tends to be like in certain pockets of areas. Uh, yeah, it is kind of a weird double standard of alcohol is a lower, um, age or a higher age than guns but alcohol whoa i can't um alcohol is also something that there's been a lot of campaigns around here especially because of drunk driving um no you know so there there's been a big push for alcohol um strangely enough tobacco is still 18 um, marijuana in the areas that it's legal is usually 21. Uh, really like, I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust hacks. Yeah, and I think the problem is in the United States, we also have a history of very Puritanistic religion. You got to remember that the United States was partially, in part, colonized by Puritans, um, and also, in part, you know, because of that, people associate alcohol with like, well, if I hit a certain age, then alcohol's safe, and that's not the way it is in other countries. In other countries, like. Italy, France, Spain, like it, 
becomes a family thing where people are consuming alcohol at a younger age with their family, like a glass of wine with dinner, uh, stuff like that. It's safe um, because they don't stigmatize it versus here in the United States. When people get into college and are old enough to drink, they tend to do it to excess. That's why if you look at colleges, there's a lot of instances of alcohol poisoning. No. Okay, so Kit, you're back on mute. And I'm going to go. I've got some tasks left to do. And again, these are not necessarily facts. They are opinions. Uh, so, you know, just a word of warning. No! Can you join? Uh, I'm not hosting a lobby. If you jump in um, the next game, you know, while we're waiting for people. Kit, what do you have to say for yourself? But yeah, I, I, I think, again, if alcohol was more integrated into family culture here and it was more um, accepted, I don't think... I don't think that we would have as many issues, but there's a lot of stuff around that in the United States where there's a lot of guilt and shame put on people about alcohol, about, um, you know, other drugs, about all sorts of things. And the problem with that is, is that by stigmatizing something, all you're doing is making people believe that when I hit a certain age, it's magically okay. And then I could do as much as I want. And that's not the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is, you know, if you teach people that there's a healthy way to do things and that moderation is important, not necessarily an age limit and maturity is involved, not necessarily a specific age, then that's something that's important. Like with Kit, I've even said my opinion is that when I feel that Kit is close to being an adult or is mature in my mind. I am going to, regardless of his actual age, when he is acting at a level of maturity, no, not again. But when Kit is acting at a level of maturity that I deem to be at a mostly adult level, uh, I am going to, you know, have a day where I have him come into the living room, sit down. I'm going to turn on a rated R movie and I'm going to hand him a beer. Not two beers, I not three beers, kill you. not ten I beers. Kill you. Yeah. Remember when you opened the decontamination? Yes, I door? figured as much. I was a little bit suspicious of that. Here's the code, Buller. Right here. He made it. He made it? He yeah. Made it. So now you better stop watching the stream because then that's stream sniping, dude. So. So uh, you'll have to mute. Yeah, mute the stream. Good. All I'm saying, though, is like when I feel like Kit's an adult, I'm go even if he's 18, 17, 19, I don't know when it will be, but I will have him sit in the living room with me. I'm going to turn on a rated R movie. Not sure which one yet. There are a couple that I have in mind and um, crack open a beer, hand him the beer and say, hey, you know, what? I believe that you are now an adult. And because of that, you're going to have to start acting like an adult, which means I am not going to be I'll still be your parent. But I um, am now setting you free in your own life. Um, and I'm going to be less on top of your life. It doesn't mean that I'm not still going to love Kit and back Kit up when he needs help. It just means that there there isn't in the United States this idea of becoming an adult. There's no, like, ceremony. There's no anything. Um, versus in ancient cultures, there was usually, like, a way of demonstrating that you've moved from childhood to adulthood. And we don't have that anymore. And I think that's a detrimental thing in society. Again, that's opinion. I am not an expert in society. I am not an expert in anything. It is purely, purely, purely uh, speculative on my part. No! I needed to do something. Weapons.
Why? Why would you ask for that? Why? Hey, Kit. Sorry, I forgot to unmute you. Why would you ask for that? Why would you ask to be... Don't ask to be... By the way, yeah, last round, I was telling the truth when I said I didn't call stabilizers. Yeah, you probably didn't. Yeah, Lime did. Yeah. I'm skipping. White, stay with me. Stay tonight. Fight the break it's of dark, dawn. Come guys. tomorrow. Oh, oh, it's after 11. It's almost time to start the cooking. Mmm. Mmm. All right, kit's muted. I know where I gotta go. Because I know oh, just where I'll go. I've got a place to go. I've got a place to go. I've got a place to bought, the place to bought, the place to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm either going to die or something else. No! No! No, 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 no. That frustrates the heck out of me. No. <laughs> I did. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to unmute you. There we go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pink was with me and Hax. So, not pink. Hmm. What in the world? What? I. It's pink, green, and black? Based on what? Uh, you know what? That, that junk frustrates me. Especially when we provided proof that we were safe. That is, that is some garbage. Like, what kind of logic? What'd you say, Kit? I said that is garbage. Okay, you're muted again, because I don't know if you're actually the imposter or not. But that said, I have to go finish the task. Okay. Going, 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 going. I have one piece left, and I'm about to get killed, I think. Okay, good. Oh, the sound cut out for a minute there. That's weird. Okay, good. It came back. I am going to chill right there. I'm going to chill right there. Like, literally right there. By the way, um, you'll notice I changed my lighting a little bit, that I'm using a little bit of a warmer light tone, um, a little bit more yellow, and that's because it's going to match the new theme in a little while. What up, Kit? Welcome back. Hi.
Bad bunny. Bad bunny. Um. Who's tan? Wait. Th who's tan? Is that Buller? Is yeah. Bu Buller's tan? Okay. It's a shapeshifter! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Ooh! That's pretty close for Bad Bunny. Alright, muting kit. Oh, no! Buller, you just got slammed. Sorry, Buller. <laughs> well done, Buller. Well done. Um, hmm. Which hiding place do I want to go to today? Uh-oh. Oh, no. And Kit, you're back. You're unmuted. Why? You did not see someone with... Well, you can't really see if someone's on cam. Based on... What, though? Oh, it blinks... Well, I'm not that observant. <laughs> I'm not that observant, so... That's a bad thing to say, Kit. Because Rose is... R Rose is... Sus as well. My goodness. I don't know. I'm just throwing accusations out there, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, it seems suspicious. Yeah, I, Buller, I know you know, but don't tell me. Let's see. Survey says! It's not Rose. It's not me or Rose. Okay. Well, well, I, I, you are muted now, so I can't, and whatever you said in the other room, I can't hear. Um, I just heard you say something in the other room, but I can't, I, I couldn't hear what you said. Don't, yeah, don't tell me who the imposter is. I don't need to know. No! Now I gotta go hide somewhere else, because there's no grouping. I want to group with people. So yeah, by the way, this is probably going to be my last game. Kit's probably going to stay on. Um, but this is probably going to be my last game just because um, I've got a I've got a special lunch I got to get cooking up, and I have to chop some lettuce. I have to make some spice, mix some spices, um, and I've got to you know get some stuff prepared. So. Just letting you know, Buller. All right. No! Go away! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Stop camping around me! Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to sit and look at this person. And they're walking away. Excellent. Okay, good. So, so far safe. For now. For now. I think I'm safe for now. Gotta watch out for those imposters. They're sneaky. Oh no! Oh no! 
No! Hi, Kit. Hi. Based on... Like, I need proof before... Which one? Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> it was tried. Okay. Yes, indeed. That's not good. Well, here's the reason why I I am inclined not to necessarily believe it's Kit. Kit had multiple opportunities to kill me and didn't. And so because Kit had multiple opportunities to kill me and didn't, I find it suspicious that I'm not dead yet. I mean, like, seriously? Um, Kit generally kills me pretty quickly. Um, and even if he doesn't... Yeah, uh, it could be making an alibi. You're right. Could be. Could be. Also, Brown could have killed me and didn't. Which makes no sense, too. Oh, no! 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 No, 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 no. All right, good game, everybody. All right, everybody. So, um, Kit, are you streaming, or did you not figure that out? No. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to be um, raiding anybody. So here we go. We're going to wrap things up. Um, see ya all later. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave. And we're going to go ahead and quit things out. Um, so in the meantime... Kit, you have anything to tell the people about? I, uh... <coughs> I'm Bless going you. to be working on a animation. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so you're working on an animation. That's cool. And uh, as for me, you know that we've got a stream redesign coming in the next couple of weeks. Two to three weeks. It's going to be awesome. Buller, thank you for joining, by the way. Thank you for uh, becoming an Expeditioner. Uh, alongside this journey with me and with Kit and with everybody else on the channel. Thank you to Buller, Tayla, AU, and Tobister. Thank you to all of you for becoming expeditioners on this journey with me again today. And in the meantime, I hope you all have a great weekend. We'll be back tomorrow to play something. Not sure what, but we'll find it soon. In the meantime, enjoy your journey and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.